We continue with our Discernment of Spirits Mondays, and we began to talk last week about Rule 9. Why does God allow spiritual desolation? And so uh, we began a little intro into that rule, even though I didn't actually real read the rule. And today uh, I want to read you just the beginning of the rule. The rule is kind of long, and since I can't cover the whole thing, I just want to read the, the beginning and then just expound about uh, on that first first part. So it says, ninth rule, the ninth. There are three principal causes for which we find ourselves desolate. The first is because we are tepid, slothful, or negligent in our spiritual exercises. And so through our faults, spiritual consolation withdraws from us. I want to pause there and just expand on that. So um, Ignatius first says that there are three principal causes right, for which we um, find ourselves in spiritual desolation. Uh, two things here, the fact that he says principal means that this is a non-exhaustive list. These are maybe just maybe the, the three main things that can cause spiritual desolation. And then the second thing is that just in reading Father Gallagher and commentary on this rule, the way in which the word cause is used there is, is more in the way in which sometimes it's used in, in kind of philosophy. Uh, which cause can have like a di different ways of, of being used. Usually when we use the word cause, we say like, what is the origin? Like, what caused this book to rise right now? It was my hand, right, or me, right? But it can also use, be used as cause, as finality. Like, what is the purpose or the reasoning behind it? Like, what was the cause of me lifting the book? Me trying to show an example, right? Uh, kind of like, what was the end? And so the way in which St. Ignatius uses the rule, the, the word cause here, is, is in this sense. What are God's kind of reasons or, or God's purposes for which, he allow, uh, for which he allows spiritual desolation? And so the first one we just read has to do with um, kind of our own faults and really the reasoning for the, for the Lord to allow spiritual desolation is to heal us from our own faults. In a, in a way, the gift that you wish to bestow, bestow upon us with this first cause is the gift of conversion. And again, uh, it always has to do something with, with love. So let's kind of maybe flush this out with, with an example. In regards to the first cause, it has to do with our faults and the Lord want, wanting to heal us from our faults and granting us the gift of conversion. So imagine someone that maybe is very faithful to the Lord and, um, you know, they go to Mass uh, regularly, go to confession regularly, they pray every day. Uh, they're really not falling into, into grave sin with regularity. And, you know, at that, this particular time in their, in their life, they're experiencing consolation. Very, very awesome. Now, as, again, kind of, they get into this routine of following the Lord, maybe they begin to slack a little bit in their spiritual life. Maybe... They begin to be a little bit inconsistent in their prayer life and maybe a little bit careless about certain near occasions of sin that in the past have been just not good, not good for them. And so the Lord, right, seeing this, this man or this woman who, whom he loves, right, he may be like, oh my gosh, I don't want my relationship with this person to be affected. And I see them kind of beginning to be a little bit careless about the spiritual life, this could lead them to something that's going to actually separate me from them. So the Lord, wanting to give the gift of conversion, may allow the person to experience spiritual desolation. Remember, spiritual desolation doesn't really separate us from the Lord. It's just an experience, right? So the Lord, rather, this person experience as if he, he or she wasn't close to the Lord, for the sake of waking the person up in how they're make, beginning to make choices than, than to just allow the person to be in consolation and actually go down this path that is actually going to separate this person from, from the Lord, right? And so um, as the person experiences a little bit of this withdrawal of consolation, it can kind of make them pay attention, right? And they start applying the rules 
Maybe they'll, they'll apply the rule of more prayer and also much examination and realizing, oh my gosh, actually begun to be a little unfaithful to my prayer or begun to take these actions that are not really that great that could lead me down a bad path. And so it's going to help them kind of go back to, to, to being more faithful and then more, more, very likely right consolation or return. So we see here again that is God's love at work and allowing desolation in this first uh, reason, right? The Lord wants to grant the gift of conversion as he sees certain faults, and so he allows the experience of spiritual desolation for the sake of drawing the person closer to, to him.